Thank you, Ms. Murphy. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to congratulate Angelica for being named the female recipient of this award. Uh, her work with kids who have autism shows us how we can use our passion and our ideas to help those who need us most. Congratulations to all of my peers involved with Leadership Links who helped fund the ACE grant and allow our competition on the course to be determined by great ability, not good fortune. I'd like to thank the individuals and organizations that have made this event an evening a reality. As a founding partner of the ACE grant program and generous donor since 2004, Rolex has helped to support over 700 junior golfers for whom playing in a top flight tournament would otherwise have been just a dream. I'd like to thank all of the AJGA staff members who so graciously guided me to this podium. Ms. Doctor, who helped me launch and manage my Leadership Links website, and Mr. Jackman, Ms. Smith, and Ms. Hagen for giving me the opportunity to meet great people at a great organization who have so much fun doing what they love. Most important, I'd like to thank my family. Peter, thanks for showing me how to aim high, work hard, and achieve your dreams. Mom and Dad, thank you for encouraging me to take risks, respect failure, and be grateful for success. The story of how I became involved with Leadership Links and Life Act isn't a story about me. The story about this, this story is about my team. The teammate who led by example, the coach who encouraged me to reach outside my routine, and the people in my community who gave me the opportunities to lead. When I was a freshman, I found a teammate who shared my passion for golf. Though Will was a junior, he picked me up every day for practice. As one of the top junior golfers in the state, Will taught me a lot about golf and about what kind of person I wanted to be. So when I saw his thank you note for our contribution to his Leadership Links website, I told my parents I wanted to start my own. Not long before that, my varsity head coach invited me and my brother to volunteer at a golf outing for a charity called the Suicide Prevention Education Alliance. We spent the day not only for caddying, but also learning about the mission of the organization. Their message was hope. Hope for those who find themselves in a place where they can't see any light or any reason to live. I'd seen that darkness firsthand, up close and personal in my own cousin's struggles, and felt helpless. As we drove home from that event, it was pretty clear to me that I would join this team. I emailed Life Act and volunteered to serve on their youth board. Three years later, I have the privilege of serving as a 25-member Youth Advisory Board president and of contributing to a successful program that identifies kids at risk for depression and suicide. Together with health professionals and a local videographer, our youth board made videos showing our peers how to talk about suicide. Even in a fictional setting, it's a really hard subject to talk about. But now I know that if I needed to reach out to a struggling friend and ask a suicide question, I would. In addition to making videos, the money raised from my Leadership Links site and our school's Into the Light Walk team has funded programs in over a dozen classrooms among Northeast Ohio. To give you an idea of what this means, let me tell you a few facts. First, at least one in five teens has seriously considered committing suicide. Second, suicide is now the leading cause of preventable death among kids our age. Most important, kids who are given the opportunity to seek help are significantly less likely to take their own life. In 2015 alone, Life Act professionals talked to over 25,000 kids in dozens of schools. The response was nothing short of unbelievable. Over 1,500 teens, that's 10 times the amount of kids in this tournament, asked for help. Who were those kids? They were someone's son, someone's daughter, someone's friend, and yes, someone's cousin. My cousin has bravely pushed past the darkness more than once, each time showing me the grit, patience, and inner strength of a true champion. With my amazing cousin, Anna, I've seen the victory of defeating depression, so I know how important LifeX message is. I'll never know exactly how many kids found a lifeline through the programs my donation funded, but if another person's life was saved, it'd be the single greatest accomplishment of mine. I'd like to leave you with the story of a former President's Leadership Award recipient, Smiley Kaufman. Smiley and his brother Lucky started the Kids vs. Cancer campaign in 2006 when several little kids with cancer in their neighborhood found themselves fighting for their lives. Smiley and Lucky took their golf game and put it on steroids. They started a 100-hole marathon and sent out a bunch of letters asking for donations. 
In the first year alone, they raised $18,000, and by 2008, they had raised $51,000. A few years after Smiley accepted the President's Leadership Award, his father lost his job, and he found himself applying for an ACE grant, the very grant he had so generously funded through his own campaign. Through leadership links, Smiley was rewarded for his efforts off the course. And then, in a twist of fate, he was rewarded again for his talent and tenacity as a junior golfer who wouldn't give up on his dreams. What is it in your life that touches your heart and leaves you asking, how can we do better? Instead of wondering how you can help, jump in and volunteer to be on a team. A great team to start with is Leadership Links.